other swarms use this behavior too. The vortex is created by fish can be so spectacular, they appear almost like an alien organism. They move like one too, a creature that shapeshifts before our eyes. Fish have a lateral line system sensitive to pressure waves that runs like a series of hidden ears along the body. This picks up the tiny movements of neighboring fish so they can mirror each other's actions in perfect synchrony. The lateral line also detects predators. Sailfish are built to deal with this superorganism. They are the fastest fish in the ocean. But like birds, they find that dealing with a swarm isn't easy. If any member of the shoal detects danger, they use pheromones to warn the others. With so many individuals on the lookout, their senses are amplified. It's difficult for predators to take them by surprise. The sailfish's game plan is to divide and rule. Smaller shoals are easier. They slice through the mass, breaking them into smaller targets. Chasing even these mini swarms is difficult. Only the weak or diseased usually get taken. The fragmented shoal seek safety with the master swarm. In this fish whirlpool, they communicate by resonating their swim bladders or grinding their teeth. Together they become more than the sum of their parts. It's as if each fish adds its intelligence to the other to create a single mind. The roots of such complex behavior lies with far simpler animals. 